Hi, I'm just going to get a little bit more of my mind while I've got the time. Um, I was thinking overnight about, you know, awakening the term and, you know, um, just how it's like, what are you awakening to? Um, because there's different things and different truths that people can awaken to and, you know, a bit you know, kind of to follow on without being too sort of derogatory about what I mentioned last night in terms of like angry truth that is stuck on mud floods or, you know, um, the Illuminati or, you know, darkness. Um, and it's kind of that that I've been thinking about a lot, you know, it's like awakening to what? What are you awakening to? Are you awakening to the dark, corrupt nature of the world and then leaving it at that, you know? Um, because I think that's the stages, you know, it is like the hero's journey that people go through individually. Um, and every unique personality with their own unique human experiences resonates or get stuck on certain things um, but I feel like it is a big circle and you know you eventually get back round to um, innocence, childhood and the illusionary nature of reality and you know how you can create something better for yourself and everyone else from that but yeah so you know you can awaken to dark truth that is truth um, or if you believe it it is anyway um, and you know, and then and people are like, oh, I'm so woke, I'm so woke, I'm awake, I've been awake all my life, or I've been awake since this and that. And again, like time's a time is an illusion for me. It's it's a trapping concept, but it's like it doesn't matter if you're awake. It's like once you're awake, it's the responsibility to do the inner work and the healing to then, you know, be a, a responsible, positive, awakened individual and not some angry twat, <laughs> basically, you know, or um, smart ass or a troll or, you know, um, a wiser than everyone else attitude, you know, we are all the same. We are all, you know, tapping into the same um, cloud of uh, information, you know, the same light source of all the same prime creator, the same God, the same everything and our experiences, egos, personalities and filters will determine how we integrate that information and so you know I've just been thinking about that a lot because I've had some sort of um, constant blockages with um, my resonance with um, outer space or you know galactic ties and I have addressed this and there's a girl I don't know if anybody's um, watched I just absolutely love her she's just incredible I found her the most honest um, real sort of uh, speaker um, at the moment that I've come across anyway that's talking about in healing and um, useful shit, you know, to do with spirituality. Um, anyway, she's called MJ and her channel is called All To Love. So check it out. I just love her authenticity and um, she did a really good video this morning actually. So maybe I'll post it underneath. But anyway, um, so I've been um, following um, her work for couple of months maybe since I found her and um, I've arranged to do uh, like a 30 minute video call with her because she um, she mentioned in one of her videos that you know the acceptance of galactic ties was like a last cog in her sort of wheel um, and you know it's quite a big one for me to get to for some reason you know to resonate with the idea of um, galactic ties and as I'm saying this I'm trying to think to myself why you know there's quite a few reasons that halt me from that and I um, always feel like it's because the more I sort of understand you know like I said in the last video about how the belief created the image of 
for the Christmas for me, that, that one Christmas. And you know about the powers of um, manifesting, manifesting, manifesting your own reality. Um, I'm always, oh God, I'm such a thinker, you know, I have to switch that off a lot, but, because really it doesn't matter if I don't fucking, if I don't, you know, align with that in the slightest, and it doesn't affect me, it's just, you know, my openness to any concept makes me go, well, you know, it could be possible, so let's look into it a little bit more, you know, it's, um, it's no good to be closed off to things. But I always feel like it's because we are perpetuating everything from within and interpreting through our own filters. So for example, if um, if I had always um, seen or believed in aliens um, and, you know, like I've said before, I was never into science fiction or anything like that. and. Um, my logical sort of mind sees everything in um, in energy fields these days and, you know, um, contained in energy fields, within energy fields, within energy fields. And so um, I find that I completely align with the idea of different vibrational frequencies of consciousness, you know, um, like um, Magenta Pixie, um, or I've seen this other guy recently, Phil Good he's called, and you know they'll sign off the videos with, um, you know, this came to you from the White Winged Collective of Nine, and for me it's like I wish they could just delete that bit at the end, because it just doesn't align for me at the moment, you know, I have a blockage. And it's not because I disrespect their work, because I listen to the work and I take the tea, I take you know what resonates and what is helpful from that. But at the same time, my sort of idea of it all is that the prime create, prime creator, God, source, everything, is this um, collective cloud of information, which are different vibrational uh, frequencies and signatures and and uh, carriers of um, consciousness. And so you know we can all tap into that and religious people you know you see them and it's like um i heard a vision from the good lord and you know the the um jesus spoke to me and blah 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 or then you know you have um i've been spoke to by the council of nine or you know the pleiadians told me this that or the other and again i'm not being disrespectful i'm just sort of trying to understand how that actually happens so i've I've actively decided to, you know, explore it a bit further with an open mind, but at the same time acknowledging where my blockages come from it, and, you know, maybe I'll still always think this and nothing will change my mind. But, yeah, so basically what I'm trying to say is if you believe in something so much, you make it happen. So um, I completely believe that these people think that they're, talking to um, the White Winged Collective and I believe that this guy over here thinks he's been, you know, taken over by the spirit of Jesus um, because I can understand that in an abstract but conceptual perspective. So it's like, you know, I, I, I'm quite um, self-deprecating and I've never been really one to big myself up anyway, but, you know, there's times where I am not me and I'm getting information. Um, but I feel like it's coming from the source of everything and my soul is interpreting that, you know, my higher self, my soul. Um, so, you know, I don't need to um, use another group or another concept, another ideology to um, sort of interface that information. Um, I don't know if I'm making sense, but it's a kind of a bit like where, and I'm really not, I hope I'm not sounding derogatory because I think it's great work that so many of these spiritual people do. And, um, you know, um, I think it's probably quite possible. I've not experienced this myself yet. Um, you know, to come into contact with consciousness that is of a specific nature, you know, like, um, 
ascended masters or you know connecting with jesus specifically or connecting with buddha or you know whoever i think that that is possible their group their you know collective um vibrational frequencies of such thoughts and ideas which all exist in this pool of everything so you know i'm not belittling anything I'm, I'm open to all this it's just you know this is where my blockage is so for example when I was listening to Magenta Pixies thing which I touched on yesterday about I remember now it was called Celestine DMT that's what she was talking about and I remember um, when I tried DMT and when I used to watch you know videos about um, people's DMT experiences or you know when I watch Spirit Molecule and things like that um, I understood and felt the resonance to me and the truth of the the release of DMT and what that does to your consciousness and what you can experience within that um, release of consciousness and connecting to all consciousness um, how the possibilities are endless, you know, the, 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 the interpretations of such an experience are infinite and, you know, that's what life's about and so when I heard, you know, last week Magenta Pixie talking about this um, Celestine DMT and how you really, you experience everything through yourself and it was like, yeah, yeah, that's more of what I get you know, I, I understand that and that's where you are everything and you meet everything. Um, I've always thought that um, alien type things in terms of um, abductions or um, narratives surrounding that are just an individual um, interpretation of a spontaneous DMT dump. And, you know, I think that DMT is, no, it's not proven or anything, but I think DMT is released when you dream. Um, and in traumatic moments, at birth, at death, and, you know, you can enjoy, induce it with psychedelics, or if you really start healing yourself, you can induce it naturally, like we all do anyway. Um, so, you know, that feels to fit right, more right with my sort of um, understanding of things in a human way. Um, got a drink left in there. But yeah, no, so that's sort of where my mind has been at, you know, and um, like I said, my mind is so open to all possibilities that I'm going to have to explore this because I find it really easy to have um, remembrances of um, past lives in a way, you know, like I've spoken about before, you know, recurring dreams of um, similar things and um, visions of past lives and you know uh, ties to Atlantis and things like that which are just as wacky as the notion that you know there's um, spaceships in the sky and um, you know there's people entities watching and you know residing on different levels of things and in my again in my sort of the way I like to just look at things it's all just of consciousness and vibrational information everywhere you know um, so it'll be very interesting once I've had this chat and you know and I try and actively explore that more further with less of a closed mind on that subject and more of a, a want or a belief to at least try and connect with the possibility of um, galactic ties I just found I've found it a block and the only way I can sort of, or I have, um, aligned with it before, and again, this is not to, because what I find difficult is that a lot of these people that I've followed, you know, it all seems to, everything ends up amalgamating, you know, so it's, um, you know, there's many people now that are just ready for this disclosure. And, um, yeah, like I said, my mind's so open, it wouldn't shock me, but I don't feel like it's the thing. For me in my reality anyway I feel like it's again a sort of individual perception that has gained momentum maybe but I have again had these thoughts or visions or feelings before when I felt like 
you know, with the whole deja vu thing and sort of envisaging that I know how things are playing out anyway. As, as if I've got a future self that's aware of everything. So that's how I can align with any kind of galactic ties in terms of future. I think because of my um, interest, not that I look into it anymore, but you know, the quite possible possibility that, you know, the earth is not as it seems. And uh, for me, um, this seems to be, you know, it in a way, our containment um, on this planet. And you know, I came across something the other day, and um, what was it? I was looking into the Tesla Space X car or whatever because I didn't know I'm saying look into it, I had one search because I had not seen it at the time, and I don't know what the fuck I came across. It was like, what is this a joke? It was a, a live feed of um, Tesla's space car and um, with some chill out music and there was like 40, 50 people in this live group chat and I was so tempted to be a twat and you know to, to write, to troll really and to just go what the fuck is this I've stumbled across you know because in my reality it looked so much like bullshit I couldn't even get my breath I couldn't understand why everyone wasn't going you know calling bullshit on it it's like Oh, and again, maybe this isn't even what it was, but what it was was like a fucking sports car with no roof, with what looked like a man sat in a spaceship going over, you know, and you could see the half globe in the back, like some fucking green screen, and I couldn't understand it. Is that what the Tesla SpaceX car is? Is that seriously what we think it is, or have I just stumbled across some creative bollocks? But anyway, I didn't... Um, comment troll or projects I just you know I got off it and I was like whoa because this is what I mean you know um, what some people are have belief in is so far uh, from what I do it's not even funny but anyway each to their own so um, yeah I've got to sort my hair out it's fucking disgusting look at this yellow I don't even know what to do it's got long and ugh gross matter anyway does it never mind um so yeah what does everybody else think about galactic ties was it a, a final piece of the puzzle for you is it something you align with or is it something you sort of um rationalize as a individual perspective of connecting to the everything consciousness who knows to do any more videos now I'm gonna go back to bed but happy Thursday.